How you going guys and girls? This is Chris VK3 India Kilo. Just want to make a little video about um, some settings in Log4OM that I've just found today and uh, I find really useful. Now, I run two instances of Log4OM. So one up on that computer, that's one computer there. This is another computer there. The top computer is connected to my radios. So connected to the 7700 and the 9700. Okay, so that's, I'll, I'll call that the live all time log. So that's got every, every QSO that I've ever made on there. All right, this one here has only got this year's, it's only for the DX Marathon. But what I've been doing is when I log some, once I've finished for the evening or whatever, I'll go into QSO management up here, QSO manager, and that'll open up and it populates. And I'll change the, t the date here to the first of this year, first of the first of the first this year. And excuse me, I've got COVID, so bear with me. Um, and then I'll highlight everything up to today's date, export it to an ADIF. When that's done, I'll come down to this version of uh, Log4OM and I'll go File, Import ADIF, and I'll choose that file that I just saved. And that's how I get this uh, marathon log up to date. Now, it's a bit convoluted, but it worked, all right? So I recently saw on the Log4OM um, Facebook page that someone was showing how to uh, set up JTDX or WSJTX, whichever, whichever one you use, it doesn't matter, to um, send to two different UDPs. So what happens with mine at the moment is as soon as I make a contact, the box pops up over here and says um, log QSO, I'll click yes, it'll, it'll instantly populate over into this um, log for OM over here, which is really good. But this guy was saying that you can go in and um, go into the settings and go to the second UDP server and put it put the um, the port and the uh, uh, the computer IP in there and enable the, the sending and it um, and it does it and it does right which is pretty good. So whenever you make a J, uh, FT8 or any contact on WSJTX or JTDX, it'll send to that Log4OM and this Log4OM. Now that's good, but I want it to send to this Log4OM if I make any kind of contact. All right. So I had a bit of a think about it and thought, oh, so why can't we just put an outgoing UDP in there and an ingoing UDP in here? And then whatever, whatever gets logged here goes down to here. And I've made it work. So if we go into um, program configuration, where's it going to go? There it is. And then to connections. Now I've put this one in here, which is an outbound ADIF message. The port I've used is 2230. I've called it QSO to Marathon. Now, when you do that, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, all right? You make it the ADIF message, um, and then you put the destination IP address. So whatever the IP address is of the other computer that your other version of Log4OM is running on. All right, so I put that in there, and you hit save and apply, and then you come down to the other, the other computer, Program configuration, uh, go to connections, and now inbound connections, you make another one which mirrors the other one. So UDP inbound this time, ADIF message, same port number, 2230, and I've called it QSO from main. Okay, hit save and apply, and that's it. So now, whether I make a contact using the JT software over there, or straight into Log4OM here, 
Um, so if I go into recent QSOs, right, you can see that my most recent QSO was the four whiskey um, on 20 meters FT8. So that came from over there, all right? And it's in there as well. And so is the KH8 below it. Now, just to prove it, if I go into call sign field up there and type in BK3GWS, all right, it populates, I go over here, hit save QSO, and there it is. It's in there straight away. It's a beautiful thing. All right, well, I hope, hopefully that helped. And uh, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and uh, share and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, everyone, and thanks for putting up with my uh, dreadful voice at the moment. This is VK3 India Kilo. Cheers.